Hello Kha'Zix, how you doing buddy? You're looking pretty clean today, running the Darkstar skin. Nice, nice. Ah, but well, it's too bad Riot didn't give you an anti chroma like they did for literally every other Darkstar skin, you know? Ah, man, that's just unlucky. I guess you just, uh, anti matter to Riot? <laughs> yeah, alright. That was bad, I'll admit. But look, don't you remember we've got a game to cover? A game where we didn't die at all? and actually played properly? Yeah, that game. All right, let's go watch it. Also, hey Riot, can you open up the Valorant servers for Oceania, please? I really want to play it. All right, look, that's it, that's it, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, this is it. This is the pinnacle of Kha'Zix gameplay. I'm gonna show you uh, in this game, literally just how you can take over a game completely. Um, just knowing your limits, knowing what to do, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know, this was a really nice game, uh, that I had full control over, and you'll see that, for sure. For this kind of game, we're gonna run Conqueror, obviously, because they have a Yasuo, Diana, Rek'Sai, Jax, four bruises means you need Conqueror, right? I mean, you can try run something else. Perfectly fine, but Conqueror just makes things so much easier for you. So there you go. I mean, Conqueror is just, I don't know. It's like, it's like an amazing rune in this current meta. It's absolutely amazing. And to be honest, I'm really enjoying it. So I've been taking it quite a lot uh, lately. Okay, so what's my clear? I do for for the, the level one clear, I go for a sort of full clear. I mean, I clear my bot side jungle. And then I'll move up into my top side, of course. Just keeping my options open. Got a Gromp here, nothing too special. And take a look at my lanes, right? All my lanes are actually quite nice to gank. They're very, very solid. So I don't want to be just farming too much, uh, especially since there's a Rek'Sai. Otherwise the Rek'Sai will get a lead on me and will start snowballing uh, the enemy lanes. So, you know, we don't want that. And yeah, so after this wolf camp, onward to raptors. Um, I'm noticing that Echo is really, really aggressive. Well, the top lane anyway. The lane is quite aggressive, so I'm expecting a kill there soon. And um, yeah, but with that, the lane in that position, there's not really much I can do. It's because Echo's dying. Rek'Sai uh, goes for a gank there. Um, yeah, the Pantheon just narrowly lives. And I'm trying to make sure that the Rek'Sai doesn't invade me. Uh, because I don't have priority, obviously. The Pantheon just got chunked down. Um, so yeah, so I go for my red. <coughs> make sure to drag it into the bush to secure it. And... Take my red. And at this point, I know the Rek'Sai is going to be taking the crow. And there's nothing I can do about it, because both my laners are recalled. And they're weak. So yeah, I decide to leave the crab, and I'm also going to leave Krogs, and what I'm going to do instead is path, uh, just run straight down to the bottom river and take the other crab, and that's definitely what I want to be doing to secure myself level 4, secure myself the crab experience, and you know, it's just, um, it's just the right play at this point. On top of that, because I started down here, on this side of the map, they are probably assuming I'm topside, right? So... Um, yeah, this is actually huge, and you'll see why. Crab dies, get level 4. Watching bot lane, nothing. Checking raptors, nothing. And look, see how free this lane is? This is a free gank because of the position of the lane. And, you know, the Pantheon CC is just super, super easy. Um, the Diana is running towards the Rek'Sai, but I don't use my leap, as you can see. Play it slow, kill it very easily. I actually used my leap here because I was scared of Rek'Sai for damage, but, um... You know, it, I didn't need to. And then we pick up the Rek'Sai, easy. Oh, Conqueror doing work there. Really, really nice, really nice. And then push the wave, because we got a successful gank off. Look how much CS this Diana loses, take a look. I leap over this wall and take his Raptors, because we just killed them. So obviously I'm going to do that. Got to punish things wherever you can. And... There you go. I leave one of them alive to, uh, you know, kind of... Delay the respawn timer a little bit, and yeah, one kill, one assist, level five, 
buff's about to respawn soon and you know just a great spot right so at this point you don't want to be kind of just like doing nothing you always want to make sure you're working towards something in the game i suppose and yeah gotta be honest i was really scared of this game at first but uh it's honestly good that you become scared in your games right and I don't mean scared as in, oh, I, I, I don't want to do anything, no. Uh, I'm talking about, like, I'm talking about being respectful, right? You need to be respectful in your games, especially as Kha'Zix, because one wrong move and you're you're dead. And, um, yeah, as you can see, the Rek'Sai is just very, very desperate at this point, right? Because Rek'Sai really, really want to get the laners ahead early game. And if they can't do that, they are very, very bad. Uh, they usually just have to resort to locking people down with their knockup, and that's it. So the Rek'Sai is becoming useless, right? Because we've stopped her early game snowball. And, you know, now we just need to not panic. Because we are infinitely stronger for the remainder of the game. And, yeah. So as I was saying, yeah, just don't be afraid. Um, but be respectful. Uh, especially on Kha'Zix. Like, you get seed seed once and then you die. That's the nature of Kha'Zix. Um, so, you want to be very careful. For level 6 here, um, I'm going to evolve Q, obviously. Q is very synergistic with the Conqueror playstyle, and it's also extremely good for farming. Uh, it's good for me for to take the neutral objectives, you know, everything like that. Guys, if you're new here, I want to urge you to subscribe, by the way. I just fucking thought I'd say that right now. If you're new here, come, come, join Team Tintus. It's waiting for you, bro. It's waiting. <laughs> it's waiting, please. I'm begging you. No, I'm joking. If you want. Anyway, look, I take the blue buff. I'm looking for a gank here because she's pushing up a lot. Asking Echo to go in. Um, he trolls very, very hard. Like, I don't understand. Anyway, I know this Diana has no flash, so I just flash on her straight away. She unfortunately um, gets the crab to come towards her and then she jumps to the crab, but she's too slow and I pick her up very easily. And yeah, with that uh, Diana being dead. Oh, I mean, I was going to push the lane, but the echo did it already. So I go for the dragon, right? Because I want to make something happen out of the death, out, out of the pick that we just got. So I'm going to go here. And since Rek'Sai was just top, this is free. No one, no one can contest me with this. No problem. This is what Q evolve is good for. Could take it in a matter of seconds. And then, no worries. Got nothing else to take here. So I jump, recall. And it's warrior enchantment time. Right? Yeah. And here I say, Wreck will get desperate, because, uh, yeah, she'll get desperate and spam gank, because that's the only thing Wreck's size can do for, um, you know, the remainder of the game. Once they fall behind, it's very, very hard. Here I'm like, expect him somewhere. Expect him often. I don't really know where they're going to show up. I just know that he's going to be ganking a lot, right? Because the Rek'Sai is extremely... I mean, Rek'Sai is one of those champs, as you can see. Ganking mid again. Um, I mean, I just called it, but you know, they're one of those champs where you, you need to like, uh, you, you absolutely need to be aware of where they are, otherwise you get screwed. And you need to acknowledge the fact that they are champs, that they're a champion that you need to, uh, what am I saying here? They spam gank, so avoid them. <laughs> Yes. Anyway, um, Echo is being very, very... I don't know what he's doing, to be honest. But, um, take a look at what I do here, right? They all show top. Rek'Sai is full health. Where is she, where is she gonna go, right? She's not going to put... She could push top. She could go for Herald, or she can go back into her jungle and take that. So what does she do? She goes back. So I'm just waiting here in the bush and make sure to, uh, kind of take this fight. Um, and Conqueror doing absolutely ridiculous work. And, uh... Yeah, I managed to pick up that kill. I, I could have played it better, I think. But it's fine. 
So with that death, and with the laners recalling, uh, the enemy laners, I decide to go for Herald. I have to go for this, obviously, because we're taking advantage of our picks, and we're taking advantage of, you know, the enemies being missing on the map. So, you always want to do this when you're in your world. Uh, you know, when you get picks like that. So, Crab, after Herald, very nice. And yeah, so here we go. I've got a few options here. Everyone's bot lane, so what do I do? Do I go back and farm my camps? Do I gank top? What do I do? No, I do not I do neither of those, right? Because there's no need for me, me to be in my jungle when there's an open lane here. I'm gonna take this lane and I'm gonna push it up so that I can keep up keep the priority going, right, in the lane. And um, just try and yeah, okay. So I, I don't actually go any further, but what I do instead is um, take my raptors and then wait for the Diana pu to push, because naturally she's going to push the wave. Uh, she just roamed from bot lane back to mid, and my Pantheon's recalling, so... Oh, well, respawning. And yeah, I, I just take up... Take this wave again, to make sure I... Uh, to make sure I'm not letting any minions go to waste, right? <laughs> And I was also like, I'm strong, play with me, because I'm literally the strongest on the team. And if they don't play with me, then we're not using our gold, right? I have three kills, and I'm 91 CS. I, like, we have to use the gold to have the best chance of success in fights, right? That's literally, like, I don't know, it's so easy. So here comes the Jax teleport. Okay, watch how I play it. Had to jump here, unfortunately, but I was trying to hold it. Uh, yeah. I got knocked up as well, unfortunately. <coughs> but I did pick up two kills there, which is nice. And after that, with two picks, comes Herald. That's why we go Herald. Herald is so damn useful. So here I'm just like, charge and leave. Bam, easy peasy. Why? Because Diana was coming down. And obviously, I, like... When you pay attention to the map, you actually pick up on these things, and the Pantheon just did not respect, but, yeah. I did say to charge and leave. So I have 3k gold. Um, at this point, you gotta recall and buy your Dusk. Your Dusk Blade. But I'm taking blue just before I do that. And, yeah. Take a look how I'm playing, right? I'm not making any risky plays or anything. I'm, I'm keeping my lead. I'm not going for things that would probably kill me in the process. So, yeah. I'm also picking up just those three wave, those three minions, right? I'm taking literally everything I can on the map to give myself the best chance of staying ahead. And yeah, there we go. Free dust blade. Or well, three up. <laughs> Instant buy for a dust blade. And I am going to go into a tabby because they are mostly auto attack based. Um, very simple. They take that dragon. Why do we not contest this? Because there's no chance, right? Uh, I could be. I could just be like, oh, no, we have to get this dragon. It could be a win condition. No, like, just ignore the dragon, man. It's not that important. And we're in absolutely no position to contest that whatsoever. On top of that, if we do, there's a good chance I'll die unless I play it really well. Uh, but with their lockdown, it's very, very hard to play it well. Um, so yeah. Instead, I just go and take my camps. Which is like the best option. The best option at that point in time. And here I'm also looking for a gank mid again, if I can. Notice that crab's taken. I go for a counter jungle here because I realized the Rek'Sai was like, kind of... Well, I mean, they just took the dragon. But yeah, I do find Diana here. She obviously has no chance. She was going to take the blue, um, obviously, but, you know, I managed to catch her out right there and then, which is pure, purely a coincidence, but, you know, I want to go deeper because we just got a pick, and I know his blue is up, and so Rek'Sai tries to take his wolves, but, you know, I know this. Yasuo comes along, for some reason, and then I drag the Rek'Sai over in isolation and just cure her and she dies. I don't really know why these two are over here, but I guess it's because they lost their tower, so they're like, oh, okay, better end laning phase and be retarded and just... Alright, sorry. <laughs> I didn't really know what they're doing there, if I'm honest. Um, 
yeah, I also got exhausted. Man, exhaust is the bane of my existence, right? I hate that. I hate that summoner spell. It is the worst. And now that ADCs have been taking it uh, as well, it just it's just so annoying. Anyway, look what I'm doing here. I'm trying to make... Uh, I'm trying to grow, grow our lead even further. So I'm going to kind of look around topside, make sure Echo gets the tower. I was going to help him with it if he couldn't. But Jax ended up recalling. I think he might have seen me somewhere. Wait here for Rek'Sai, because naturally there's nothing else you can do. Um, burn a flash. And look how easy that is, right? Just by applying pressure uh, in isolation, we can easily just take this tower. Like, how easy was that? It's crazy. It's really crazy. I'm using my lead as best as I can. I'm not losing it in any way. Uh, because I'm, you know, not just like farming camps and letting the enemy do anything. I'm constantly in their face. Uh, blocking out opportunities for this Rek'Sai to, you know, make anything happen on the map. And it's proven to be very, very effective. I mean, like, jungle experience is trash right now. Look at my levels, right? Look at my levels. My, I'm level 12 right now. Okay, yes, I have 7 kills, but if all of this 126 CS was from jungle camps, I would be level 10 right now. Look how ahead I am of my solo laners. It's because I've been taking solo lane experience, I've been taking the minions, and that's let me get just a bullshit amount of experience because, you know, solo lanes are busted right now. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, here I got spotted, obviously, and I'm afraid they're going to collapse, so I use my sweeper in the bush, make sure I'm not spotted. And for some reason, Tom Kench walks up to the Thresh, and then we just kill him in isolation. Now, watch how I play this. I'm not jumping unless the Rek'Sai is far away and can't actually protect the Diana. Sure enough, he does. Uh, they do separate, and I can jump in safely. Jax comes along, but it's fine. Rek'Sai is very low. Watch this, watch this, right? Watch what I did there. I don't think many people realize how important that was, right? So, I saw the Rek'Sai ulting me while I was dealing with the Jax, and I chose to stop auto-attacking and prepare an auto-attack for the Rek'Sai, right? Do you know why this was? It's because the auto-attack for Kha'Zix, especially with Alacrity, is the fastest thing to come out, and it's the most reliable, right? I don't have to click an ability to deal damage to someone, I just need to click on the person to deal damage. And that's why I used an auto-attack. I, I prepared an auto-attack to... Uh, just finish off the Rek'Sai before she could do anything else um, because you know I know she was going to show up on top of me so I just recalled I took my Krugs and all that and I'm going to go back down into the bot side um, so what should I do here? I actually talked to my team right? I'm just like it's not rough it's all good and honestly if you've got someone uh, who's like having a rough time in the game you kind of want to do this you want to say it's all right and you know we're, we're doing fine because it really does make them feel a little better and stops tilting uh, it stops the tilt right and so we can take this dragon very easily uh, because we're so strong i mean i have a dust fade and cleaver by the way i didn't mention the cleaver cleaver is obviously because we are dealing with bruises so cleaver is like the best option um it's so much better than just flat out Yumu's because uh, for one thing bruises usually buy defensive boots such as Tabby and that's very annoying uh, they also have good decent base armor so I jump in here and I have to stealth out because of the jack stun but yeah playing it very safe as you can see and gets a little bit too close managed to finish him off he gets stunned look how I'm cleaving everyone right 40% CDR with the cleaver and, you know, with Conqueror, we're just shredding people. And that's exactly what you want to be doing. So I hold my leap here, I jump on the Rek'Sai over the wall. She knocks me up, I have to flash to kill her. To be honest, I don't even know if it was worth it to get that. Actually, no, it was worth. It was definitely worth, because now we can get the Baron. We have two dead. Uh, the jungle is dead. I'm super, super strong. There's nothing they can do. There's really nothing. This is exactly why you... I mean, you run Cleaver, generally, against Bruises. It doesn't have to be just with Conqueror. Uh, it's just such a good item for Kha'Zix. Um, yeah. 
Take a look at how fast I'm shredding this, right? 40% CDR Qs. And there. There we go. Notice how I'm not farming. I'm hardly farming, right? Uh, I think this is the key thing to keep in mind. It's that when you don't need to farm, don't farm. Um, obviously, there are times where you have to farm. And, you know, that's like... That's a given. As you know, I'm quite an avid farmer myself. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, it's just a matter of when you have a lead, you have to shove it down the throat. Um, uh, I don't know where I heard that from, but, you know, someone must have said it to me somewhere. But I do remember say, uh, someone telling me that when you have a lead, you have to shove it down your throat. THEIR THROAT! <laughs> Otherwise, um, you know, it, you kind of lose it over time, right? Unless you're 100% sure that you can carry at a certain point of the of the game. For example, if you're farming up for items, etc. Then that's fine, but for the most part, you want to push your lead. And here, I didn't talk about this, but I went for an Aegis. Which means I'm going into Death Stance. And uh, I'll talk about that in a second. So here comes Jax. Watch how I'm playing this. Staying away from all forms of CC. Making sure not to use my leap preemptively. Very awkward position for me to be in, right? But watch how I play. I know I'm strong. And this guy isolates. I jump on him purposely to chunk him down. Um, but watch. I unfortunately get hit with this. And that's fine, right? All I need to do is stealth. Avoid everything. They get really greedy for me. I kind of mechanically misplay here. Dodge the jack salty. Constantly kiting, man. I'm st like, look. And also I get a bit disrespectful here. <laughs> but yeah. Look how I'm playing fights, right? I'm constantly constantly staying away from people right i'm not face tanking any of their auto attacks i'm not doing anything like that i'm not playing kha'zix like uh bloody olaf like i'm not this is why olaf players can't play kha'zix but kha'zix players can play olaf is because we're smarter than them for the most part <laughs> but yeah honestly olaf is just branded but if you're a if you're a good conqueror Kazakh player and you know how to use the cleaver playstyle, then Kazakh is a better Olaf. Legit, he is. He is. I don't find Olaf that good, to be honest. Um, he's just really brain dead, and people don't know how to like play against him. So apparently, he's good uh, just because he farms really fast and can chase people. Um, yeah, all right, dude. If that's what you want to call a good champion, then sure. So here, I notice I'm close to death dance and. I want to get enough gold to the point where I can buy it, so yeah. Look at look at the jacks, right? I could jump on the jacks, but is it worth wasting my time? Potentially not getting the kill as well. I mean, probably not, right? I just want my death stance, and that's it. Recall, death stance, bam. So the death stance is to help me stay alive. Uh, I could easily buy like a damage item, for example, uh, an LDR, right? LDR is probably the best buy here in terms of raw damage. It would help me shred people down very easily, but I don't need it. I absolutely don't need it because I'm already so fed, right? And the good thing about Cleaver is that all you really need is Cleaver to deal, to deal damage, right? To deal doesn't, damage, you pretty much just need Duskblade and Cleaver. Or just Cleaver itself. I mean, sometimes Cleaver is just enough. And, you know, the Death Stance just lets me go deeper and helps with the, uh, you know, whole survivability thing. I have Ravenous Hunter, I have Conqueror, Death Stance, I'm unkillable now. So I can pretty much do whatever I want. Within reason, of course, right? I have to still be careful. This is why I say respect a lot. Always respect. It is imperative for Kha'Zix and any assassin, really. But Kha'Zix, obviously, in particular, um, the foundation of his gameplay kind of it's kind of just based off respect right you're not just gonna jump in into that right there and you know kill everyone it's not how it works it's not how it works right <clears throat> and I'm sorry my voice is going up and down <laughs> but yeah all right so echo gets a little caught here making sure to peel for him catch out and punish anyone who gets isolated Look at how I'm playing, right? I'm constantly backing off. And then Diana goes deep, so I jump on her. Because the team isn't there to follow up. 
And then here I get super aggressive because I can. I have Death Dance. I nearly kill the Rek'Sai. And um, yeah, just walking up now. I'm walking up, still making sure to avoid any CC. And then here, back off again. I mean, I can't stress how important this is. You can see it, right? You can see it in the gameplay. Um, many people play too aggressive. But look how I'm playing. I'm playing aggressive yet defensive at the same time. I mean, the best offense is a good defense. Wait, what, what's the phrase? The, first, the best defense is a good offense? Is that the thing? I mean, probably is. But yeah, literally, you can't lose if you play like this. If you refuse to let go of your lead and you play so defensive like that. Obviously, there's going to be harder games, right? These players weren't great. Their composition weren't great. Uh, there wasn't that much CC to shut me down. In which case, if there was, I would probably go R Evolve with this setup. Um, and by that time I hit level 16, I will go R Evolve. But, you know, I'll go earlier into this build. And then they can't do anything. I almost lost that red there. And I would have been pissed. So here I'm not doing anything else but getting my level 16. That's enough. Don't need to finish the Krugs. That's it. Level 16 is all I need. And, uh, yeah, I also buy a stopwatch, right? So, I never really buy the stopwatch. I usually just go another damage item or something. But here, I'm being incredibly safe. So, stopwatch is the best choice. Get the Baron. We start a fight here. Tom gets caught. Watch how I play this. We're in a big choked out area. Could get tornadoed. Take a look. I'm watching the tornado. I jump out to avoid the tornado. Make sure to not get hit by it. And here I'm waiting, right? All I need to do is wait. Jump on the Dino, who's good, who's gone really deep. Make sure to stealth because the entire enemy team is on me. Stealth in, finish off the Jax. Kill the Yasuo. Triple kill. Try and double jump here. I'm looking for a double jump to get the Rexo, but it's not going to happen. The dump catch flashes, and I get a Quadra. Purely simple team fighting. You can do this even when you're not like 15 and 0, like 16 and 0, 18 and 0. <laughs> um, the fundamentals, these are the fundamentals. These are the fundamentals of Kazakh's team fighting. Safety is your priority, just like sex. <laughs> okay, look, I wanted that Penta, but I don't need it. Anyway, that's how you play a perfect game. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned something.